and spirits meet. And today we have another Campbelltown whiskey on the cask. It's Glen Scotia and Glen Scotia is called Glen Scotia Victoriana. It's a cask strength whiskey, so it has 54.2% ABV, quite a lot. So I got myself a little water here. Not colored, not chill filtered, but a no age statement whiskey. I'm gonna show you a little bit of the bottle. We have here the case. Uh-huh, yes, the case. And then we have here the bottle. And you might see, where, where is it? Here it is. Here is a signature. And the signature is from John Peterson. And that is the, whoop, the malt master at Glen Scotia. And he hand selected this barrel for this, or this cask, for this cask strength whiskey. And yeah, quite a nice whiskey. Let's have a look how it is. Glen Scotia's um, brand philosophy I'm not sure what they did in the, in the far, in the old times, but as long as I know them, they used to be a single malt whiskey distillery. Oh, quite some, quite some amount of poured there. And they will continue that direction because they, their mother company, Loch Lomond, they bought Glen Scotia and Loch Lomond has now a philosophy they want to get into the premium single malt whiskey market. Loch Lomond used to be very strong with blends and they have huge column stills and they also did have uh, some pot stills so they kind of made um, they could supply everything for the blending industry the malt part and the pot still uh, the column still part and uh, now they want to go further into the single malt market and really develop the brand of Loch Lomond and also Glen Scotia. Yeah. Mm, so it's it's a sweet one. In terms of maturation, mm, they said they finished it in heavily charred casks, which is not very much information because uh, we don't know anything about the casks. Let's talk about the flavor. It's very sweet and crisp and it really has that a little bit of a, a little bit of a distinct bourbon character with uh, vanilla caramel being very strong, heavy on the caramel side and very sweet. A little bit of a fruitiness going on, but all in all, Intense sweetness. I like it. Mm. So uh, I've tried it with uh, without water, and it's quite strong. Fifty-four percent ABV is quite quite a number, and it was a yeah intense character. The thing is, if you ha have just the information, heavily charred casks, then you don't know anything. Was there anything before that in the casks? where the cask is used before. So we don't know if it's a first filled charred cask or a refilled charred or third, fourth filled charred cask. So if you have a charred cask, the, the charcoal layer takes away the unwanted flavors. And if you have a toasted cask, then you add flavors. So we don't know if it has also has been toasted. We don't know, it's a bit of a surprise package. In the German take, the, the one pure, it was very sweet, very intense, very, um, not very, but good on the oak side. Um, and let's see how it is with a bit of water. Mm. Good amount more fruit, but uh, still very strong on the caramel side, on the bourbon flavor. So it's... Uh, now it opens up to apple, fresh fruits, but combined with a lot of caramel. So caramelized apple, it would be the, yeah, the closest, some, some that I can smell to this glass.
Oh, mm. very crisp, very malty, mm. still very sweet, a good amount of oak, mm. very intense whiskey. Even though I added some water, didn't add that much water. Let's add some more. So it was pretty similar to the, the pure taste. Mm. And I didn't water it down. I think I was still at 50, 48, felt like that. And it was intense, sweet, oaky, a little bit bitter, bittersweet with a little bit of a cacao and creaminess in the end. So it nice whiskey. It's really a nice whiskey. You can enjoy it neat, but you have to be a bit more experienced too, or you have to like that. Um, yeah. Mm. Mm. Okay, I've killed it. I've added too much water. Mm, this one is not a friend of too much water. Now it's just a shadow of itself. Mm. It's it's the same flavor, just watered down. So before it was just an amazingly intense, sweet, oaky whiskey. Now it's just a when you have it in your mouth, you the first thing that you feel and comes to your mind is water. Mm. Mm -mm. It's over the tipping point. Mm. Don't know how I reduced it that much. Now it does have a little bit of a phenolic touch to it, a little bit of a burnt touch to it. Still mm, kind of nice, but it just it just lost all of its intensity. And that's just a shame. So so this one I would say, for my suggestion, don't add too much water. This is a, a cask strength whiskey that wants to be dried neat or just with a, a smidge of water, not too much. Oh, I haven't killed many of them yet, but definitely today, too much water in the whiskey. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> so yeah, that was it. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.